Well, we're in the lab today here at Diverse Dimensions, and I just got done measuring up this extruded aluminum arm, and uh, noticed in my report, or I noticed in the 3D scene, that I designated an incorrect constraining plane for a 2D feature. It's happened before, too, but uh, I try and stress a lot of model prep and trying to make sure that you are, are doing the right thing when you do your measurement session, and you're picking the right planes, and you're picking the right features, but, of course, I missed it on this one, but I wanted to show you guys how you can correct that inside of your model, or the model tree, and then um, make sure that it's, it's using the correct constraining plane. So it's a 2D feature, like a circle, so it needs a constraining plane to go to. So I want to show you inside of the model where we can switch that out. Okay, so jump into PolyWorks here with me. You can see I've got all of my features measured here. My model tree's all populated. I've got a report that's down here. Everything's all filled in. And then I come back and I'm looking through the model tree and I notice that the plane used, now let me get rid of a few of these items here and just show you, here's the slot. As I was looking at that slot, I didn't see it right here on this plane where it should be. It looked like it was going back here. Ah, okay, so of course that was the uh, the issue so let's go here to the plus key I'll show you both the nominal and the measured if you come under the measured data here and you right click you can go to the edit edit measured data points I'll click on that left mouse key and it brings this dialog box up here okay so under probing parameters that's where you're gonna find this constraining plane and here it says that the DIM3 plane measured was what I chose as my constraining plane. Well, that's not right. So let me move on over and then close this out a second. So if I go up here and I can show you the DIM3 plane, a middle mouse button push down, that was the backside plane. Ah. Actually, what I wanted to do is I wanted to send it to a plane that was a little bit further down the model tree called the DIM26 hole plane. That was the front plane there. Okay, so back here, highlight the measured data, right click, edit, measure data points, left mouse button, probing parameters. Now I can change this constraining plane to be my DIM26 whole plane that's measured right there, okay? Now I'll hit the preview button here and keep an eye on that, uh, on that slot. If I click on preview, yeah, it's kind of tough to see, but you can see it made a jump over to here. So it's actually going to the correct constraining plane. So I'm going to hit apply. Boom. And you can see that dimension that would move over to that correct plane. And then I'll close that out. So that's cool. That's where I wanted it to be to begin with. Okay, so, but one thing to totally make sure of, as I was going through model prep, I did not pick the right plane. So if I've got more of these to measure, I should right click on that go to my properties, okay, and then under measurement, notice here, okay, so the properties or the parameters that I've got set up for this, constraining plane is set to this DIM3 plane. Okay, so let's go here, let's say that it's not that one, it's the DIM26 whole plane, and then I can hit the next there and close out of that. Okay, so that would set us up for future measurements what it would do is that every time I measure this, this slot now, it will go to that correct plane. But when you go under the plus key here, you go under the measured data, right key, edit the measured data points, that takes care of the measurement that you just completed. So anything that's in this session here is where you would switch that probing parameters. So yeah, for long term, for more of the measurement sessions, you have to go under here to the properties and change it under the measurement. And that's the constraining plane for future measurement.